shit. Warriors around don't get caught in the mosh pit. Fuel to the fire, ain't nobody can stop it. Trouble in my city, but you know I'm across it. Got a 40 on my hip and I'm liable to spark it. Throw down these hits. My Hello everybody. In this video I will talk about uh, aluminium air battery. So aluminium air battery is quite interesting uh, at this moment because if you see the news uh, a couple of days ago some uh, UK inventor Trevor Jackson um, creates some aluminium air battery which don't have the negative uh, performances of typical aluminium air battery so his aluminium air battery don't create any uh, any hydrogen uh, and also the corrosion of aluminium uh, is quite slowly so he extend uh, the the life of aluminium air batteries so that's why I make this video uh, to show you some basic stuff on aluminum air battery. So aluminum air battery is quite interesting because the theoretical specific energy of aluminum air battery is around 8000 watt hours per kilogram. Um, and also aluminum is uh, quite cheap and you can find uh, everywhere. Uh, so in basic lithium air battery have better theoretical specific energy the theoretical specific energy of lithium air battery is around 11,000 watt hours per kilogram but lithium is a little bit hard to find and also uh, the lithium is quite reactive with air and uh, with some electrolytes also then we have magnesium air battery which have the theoretical specific energy around 6400 watt hours per kilogram and also in the end we have zinc air battery with the theoretical specific energy of 1300 watt hours per kilogram so if you see everything together uh, aluminium air battery with around 8000 watt hours per kilogram and also like i said uh, the aluminium is easy to find uh, makes more sense for making some aluminium air batteries and that's why right now i will make some aluminium air battery here i have some aluminium uh, aluminium foil uh, and here i have 3 mole of potassium hydroxide and I will put a little bit of this electrolyte on the surface of aluminium so potassium hydroxide is um, mostly used in aluminium air batteries uh, also you can use some sodium some sodium hydroxide if you want uh, or you can also use some salt electrolytes but in this case you, the performance will be not so great the aluminium air battery will work with alkaline electrolyte really really good but the problem with alkaline batteries is that uh, the aluminium will corrode really really easily and the battery will works only for a couple of hours so like I said here I put some potassium hydroxide on the surface of aluminium I will, sh I will wish off and you see the aluminium creates some oxide layer to protect the aluminium uh, so the aluminium oxide is really bad because it's not it's not uh, conductive very well and if you get the entire surface of aluminium covered with aluminium oxide the battery will not work anymore 
and yeah i was thinking that this idea is really interesting so i will test right now so i will put a tiny drop on aluminium and also at the same time i will put a tiny drop of potassium hydroxide now i will wait a little bit and you will see the difference and now we will see what we will get here i get some oxide layer which is aluminium oxide and you see this one what is this is actually zinc so zinc is forming on the surface of aluminium to protect the aluminium here uh, which I put some potassium hydroxide uh, 3 mole of potassium hydroxide you see some white section and this is aluminium oxide aluminium oxide is bad because it's not conductive and if you get a lot of aluminium oxide on your on your battery the battery will stop working but here here I get some layer of zinc. Zinc is protecting the aluminium. So this idea I get from some papers. And yeah, like I said, here I use 3 mole of potassium hydroxide. But here, this electrolyte, I also use 3 mole of potassium hydroxide, but I also add zinc oxide. This is really, really interesting. So, the zinc oxide prevents the aluminium from corrosion. So actually, the zinc oxide is some uh, inhibitor of uh, corrosion. So, you see, the zinc is formed on aluminium to protect the aluminium. But here you see uh, some aluminium oxide so to make this electrolyte uh, the zinc oxide as additive will work only in alkaline uh, electrolytes so like I said I put uh, around 30 milliliters of 3 molar uh, of 3 molar potassium hydroxide and I add half of teaspoon of zinc oxide and you see the difference between this and this and now I will make a simple aluminium air battery in the first cell I will use only potassium hydroxide I will make this cell really really badly because uh, is only for demonstrating purposes and I will make this cell uh, really fast and really easy I will just put some activated carbon on the top so in basic the design of this aluminium air battery is uh, the negative electrode is made from aluminium I use some tissue paper for the separator in this case in this one the electrolyte is some um, potassium hydroxide 3 mole and on the top I put some air cathode which is made from activated carbon also we need some current collector the current collector is made from stainless steel and I will put this on the top And here you get some basic uh, aluminum air battery. Let's see what will be the voltage of this one. Uh, 
I get 1.5 volts. Let's see if I can run some 3 volt motor with this homemade aluminum air battery. And yeah, of course. This tiny aluminum air cell run this 3 volt motor. Uh, but like I said, the problem with this type of battery is that this one will form some uh, aluminum oxide layer and after some time that cell will stop working. Okay. And now I will make aluminum air battery from the electrolyte which is made from potassium hydroxide and zinc oxide. The setup is the same. Uh, I use aluminum for the negative electrode, some tissue paper for the separator and of course the electrolyte which is made from potassium, uh, potassium hydroxide and zinc oxide. Like I said, zinc oxide will work only in alkaline, uh, in alkaline electrolytes. On the top I will put a little bit of activated carbon. And on the top I will put a little bit of electrolyte. Okay. And on the top I will put some stainless steel. Oopsika. Let's see the voltage also from this cell. I get 1.5 volts. Let's see if we can run some motor. Yes. So with this setup, with this electrolyte, you will extend the life of aluminum air batteries. When you put some alkaline electrolyte to the cell, uh, the process of oxidation will start immediately. And you will not be able to stop the reaction. So the reaction will go so long that the entire surface of aluminium will be oxidized. And this is really bad. In this case, when we use zinc oxide, the zinc will protect uh, the surface of aluminium. Really nice. So I think that this idea is really, really interesting. And to see again here, potassium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide with, with zinc oxide. Really interesting. But uh, you can also make some solid state aluminum air battery. If you want to make some solid state aluminum air battery, you need to use this. This one is some uh, polymer gel electrolyte based on potassium hydroxide. 
So if you have some interesting how to make this one, I will put some link in the description to see the video. Uh, but like I said, this one is only based on potassium hydroxide. If you want to make something like this, uh, when you get the mix to make this one, you also add some zinc oxide to the, to the mix. And you will get some uh, polymer gel electrolyte based on potassium hydroxide and zinc oxide. So like I said, uh, how to make this one, I will put link in the description to see the video. Basically I also make some other electrolytes like this one. This one will not evaporate so easily and also extend the life of aluminium air battery. But for this electrolyte uh, you need to go to my Patreon. For a little bit support you will be able to see how to make this one. If not, you have other two solutions like uh, for the sol solid state aluminum air battery you can make with this one uh, or like I make on this one. So I think that this one is really really good idea uh, here is the cell with only potassium hydroxide here is the cell with uh, zinc oxide additive and now I will put these two apart to see what will be the surface of aluminium Yep, you see uh, the oxide layer uh, and also some corrosion. Yeah, I also feel some tiny holes, some deformation of the surface. Yeah, let's see this one. And yeah, this one, uh, the aluminium is covered with the zinc. So guys, that's it for now and yeah. Definitely, we we'll see us in the next video. Bye.